chance of standing here with senior outside hitter Carrie Kemp, one of the best in Queens volleyball history. Carrie, congratulations on the win. You just registered your 1,000th kill, not this game, but the game before. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come in front of the home fans. I know that would have been a great feeling. Uh, but describe what the feeling was like to have Letty and your family here tonight giving you a 1,000 career game. It was actually great. My whole family was here. Yeah. So I was pretty excited they're here. But I couldn't have done with my teammates. I'm glad that they're all here to see it. And you could tell they were all extremely happy yes. for you. Your family was, everybody. That's the loudest the place got tonight. And that's just a testament to your accomplishments. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And speaking of the Levine Center, and you only get to play one year here. And we talked before and you said, I'm coming back. I don't want to you know, finish out my career in a high school. And that's yes. nothing bad to them. But talk about the Levine Center and the amount of noise this place can make. This place can get pretty loud. Um, you can't really hear much when you're playing though, but at the end when you have times, they get pretty rowdy. So it's nice to hear the crowd cheering because it really helps us and motivates us and makes us play harder. Yeah, and you're so. two and one at home now. Yes. Um, you know, you played a tough Wingate team and started mm -hmm. out really well. Um, so you start on a two, uh, five game homestand now, and how's the team feeling at this point in the season? We're pretty hyped. The home game's gonna come in a better time. Um, we came off the road with a really good win for us, and then we came tonight and stuck it to them. So I think we're, we're doing pretty well. Everybody's pretty excited. We're ready to roll. It's gonna take a good team to break what we have. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, again, congratulations on behalf yeah. of everybody. Royals yeah. fans, as I say, look for her in the record books at queensathletics.com. Congratulations, Gary. Thank you. Hey Royals fans, welcome to the post game report. Standing here with head coach Letty Wilkes after a 3 0 victory against the Catawba Indians. Coach, it was a great game tonight, and it's an emotional one as you support the fight against breast cancer. It's something that hits home with this team a little more than it might with another team. Um, as assistant coach Tammy Freeze's mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to your team each year playing this game? I think each year partnered with the Side Out Foundation. It's one thing we do in volleyball. So we it hits home, not only with Tammy's mom, but tonight um, Ginger Hamrick, the yeah. Catawba coach, her mom was here as a highlight as well, who's uh, suffered from breast cancer and hopefully cancer free. And I think it just hits home in the world of volleyball as we, we partner with the Side Out Foundation. Absolutely. And it was a great event tonight. And great crowd out here to support that. And now you're riding a two-game win streak. It's got to feel good. And you're going on a five-game homestand. This is the first of those five games tonight. How's the team feeling right now? Is this the best they've played all year? Um, I think uh, last Friday we made a turnaround. We okay. needed, we were at a point where we needed to make a turnaround. Uh, Friday we played really well. We didn't get the, the win. Uh, but we came off the court with our heads high because we, we had executed what we needed to. And then we got a win on Saturday. And I think that made a huge turnaround for our momentum and our confidence. And then I think it carried over into our play tonight. And obviously, playing at home is, is always a, a key attribute that you want to have. Yeah, and I wanted to go into that a little bit. What is the difference really between playing away from home and then playing here at the Levine Center? Anytime you have to get in a, a van or a bus and you have to travel, uh, it makes it challenging. Sure. And then you have to face the home crowd. So. When you don't have to travel and you have your home fans, your support, your friends, and your family and your community behind you in the stands, it always makes it easier. Absolutely. And once again, congratulations, Coach. Rocking the pink pants tonight. <laughs> Looks great. 3-0 victory against Catawba. Thanks. Thanks.